uh, one time I went back to England and visited with my dad and the jasmine, this was around uh, Christmas time, I believe, and the, the jasmine in the greenhouse at Weston was in full flower. This is the jasmine polyanthem, the very fragrant winter flowering jasmine. It was in full flower, and the perfume in this greenhouse was just uh, quite amazing. It has a fragrance all of its own, not quite the same as some of the other jasmines that are known around the world, but this is a truly beautiful one and flowers indoors uh, when you really need an uplift in the winter time and to have the fragrance as well. It's like the lily of the valley fragrance, there's nothing quite like it. So. Uh, I said to my dad, um, would you think if you could try and get somebody to root some cuttings and send over to me? So he said, I've got a good friend I judge with uh, down at the Hertfordshire County Institute. He said, we're judging, and I was telling him about, uh, about you. Uh, so he rooted some of the jasmine cuttings that I sent him down, a hundred of them, and was all set to ship them, having rooted them but was not allowed to send them out of the country. I uh, decided to bring some of these cuttings back, uh, put them in a plastic bag, and then plastic was invented by this time, and I put them inside uh, a, a diaper bag with uh, uh, dirty diapers uh, and the rest of it in their own compartment, and said if they want to get it in, if the officials want to get into uh, this bag, good luck to them, and I'll probably go to prison, but. Anyway, they came, and that's how we got our first jasmines into this country. I think we grew up to, grew up to 40,000 uh, jasmines at one time. One, one year we had as many, when we had these big greenhouses, we had as many as 40,000 plants. Whether we sold them all, I'm sure uh, we sold a good many because we were the only people that sold them at that particular time. And th these plants here are, are really uh, nice looking plants. There's two plants in each pot. Uh, if we want to, uh, if these grow too much, and they will grow as much as uh, two to three inches a day in the very hot days, maybe as much as six inches a day. So it's incredible uh, the amount of growth they put on. And we keep pinching them on a regular basis. When these growths get to be uh, about this much, uh, if we've twined them around, we just pinch them about a quarter to a half inch above the, uh, the leaf uh, axle here. So there's two leaves, up opposing leaves, a positive folia, they could be known as. And uh, we just pinch those back and they would branch again, sending out more of these shoots in about five or six weeks, you might be able to do the same again. So that, uh, that's the way to get a really bushy plant that will you stop pinching about the middle to end of October and then uh, let the plant become uh, a little more ready to produce flower buds which usually appear about the middle to end of December and the plant will be in full flower having set its flower buds in these leaf axils and the flowers usually appear uh, at a temperature about 50-55 degrees the, the flowers, uh, the buds will appear in December and the flowers will appear mid to late January. So that's a little bit about the jasmines. I'm not sure how many in here. We asked the uh, lady in charge of this house and they do look wonderfully uh, clean and growing well. There's probably about three or four, maybe 5,000 in this house. For more information on our plants and cultural recommendations, please visit our gardening help section of our website.